Minutes past eight. Anna Julian, you will remember from Shortland Street. Uh, she's also starred in 800 Words, The Blue Rose, the Netflix movie Falling in Love, and the TV3 comedy, of course, Mean Mums, which has got another season this year. She's also hitting the stage with Jennifer Ward Leland in a new play called Two Ladies, which is loosely based on the lives of somebody called Melania Trump and Brigitte Macron, or Brigitte Macron. Anna Julian's with us. Nice to see you. Lovely to see you. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Shortland Street. Is Shortland Street the thing you have to do if you're a, if you're a thespian? <laughs> must you do Shortland Street? Uh, well, m a lot of us have. Most of us, I think, have. It was a great place to learn for me, definitely. I mean, I, go, I know everyone's different, but I sort of um, parked up there for a significant chunk of my 20s, and it definitely taught me all my TV craft, all my camera craft, and what people do on set and that sort that of thing. That seems to have been, apart from anything else, its role. There's been a tremendous factory, if you like, mm. of talent and skill that's come out as a direct result of having a nightly soap opera and therefore production. That's right, on both sides of the camera, I think, crew and, you know, cast. It's a huge learning learning ground, and it, it, there's, it just churns out TV, and mm. amazingly, it is a huge machine. It just doesn't stop. What did you end up, you, you went in there with a view to what? To, to It's a break for you, or you'd be like William Roach on Coronation Street and be there till you're at 92, or? Mm, I was 22. I was just happy to get a full-time acting job with a yearly contract. Um, I didn't have a great a sort of overriding plan, I don't think. I was just writing it out. And it worked out okay for it you. Did, so did. you're into school drama as well, which I fi always find interesting because yes. a lot of us are in school drama, but it never necessarily leads anywhere. Yeah. And did, did it, you, were you in it for it to lead somewhere? It was the thing that I was passionate about throughout school, and I did hope that it would work out. But then I had started, before I got Shorty Street, I had started um, an arts degree at Auckland Uni, sort of thinking that if it didn't work out, I would do something um, communication-y, journalist-y. Yeah. Um, so I think I had some kind of backup, but I have been quite lucky that it has... Turned into a whole whole career. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while. So. Because you put that on hold, the university on hold, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I was, I'm yet to complete my bachelor. And, 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 and you never went back and you have no desire to do so? I do have it. I mean, I would like think to you finish one it day? one day, but I just haven't um, had a chance at yet. Fair enough. To, now, falling in love, N-I-N-N. -I -N -N. See what they did there? Yeah, see what they did there. <laughs> uh, that's Netflix, and I'm, I'm desperately interested in Netflix because that's just changed the whole television business, movie business all over the world. Mm. When they come here... Do they? Why do they come here? I think they come here for many reasons. Well, at the moment, we're obviously a, a blissful germ-free yeah. um, spot, but we have great crew. I think we do offer an. In, I think we do offer an incentive. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, uh, and it's a pretty nice place to to shoot. I think. And Is it different for you as an actor working for them? I mean, the budget alone must the be... The budget is probably the biggest difference and the, um, you know, the plush things that come along with a, a bit more budget. A bit more time comes with a bit more budget. So, you know, in most of the local drama I do is fast turnaround TV, so you're shooting shows really quickly. Mm. On Shorty Street, you pretty much shoot an episode of Tally a Day, which is, you know, compared to the show I've just done where you did one scene you shoot one scene in a whole day. So now, the, the show you've just done is? Uh, Sweet Tooth. It's right, which isn't Netflix. out? No. Right, what is it? It's uh, based on a comic, so it's sort of a post-apocalyptic um, drama following the journey of a sort of a hybrid... <laughs> what? A boy. Yeah, it does <laughs> sound a bit woo-woo, but it's based on a comic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so you wanted that? Did wanted the role? You wanted the role? I did. You yes, I really it. wanted uh, it. Why did you want the role? Uh... I thought it's it's a cool project. It seemed really cool. Yes. You could tell from the script, and I'd heard um, from different crew members that I'd worked with on Mean Mums who worked on the pilot that it was, it, it had cool factor. It was. It, it looked good. And does it? it? Yeah. Does it have cool? Factor? I mean, I uh, haven't seen the episode I've worked on, um, but it felt cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so this is another Netflix production. Yes. Yeah. All right, so so we we get, we got to get to Mean Mums yes. before we get to this play of yours yes. because Mean Mums appears to me to be a hit and and, yeah. and one of, one of the things uh, as an actor, I don't know if you're aware of this, but in New Zealand we've always had trouble with comedy. Yes. We're, we're desperate for it not to be funny. So when you say <laughs> yeah, it's a new local comedy, we're all desperate to go. That's not funny. Yeah, so Do, are you cognizant of that 
as uh, an actor? Yeah, and I'm still a Kiwi, so maybe that's deeply <laughs> within me um, of to, to doubt whether something is funny or not. I guess we've just had to commit, and that's all we can do from, from my end, is just commit to the script and the comedy and then hope for the best on the other side, you know, when yeah. you watch it back. It obviously um, works because yeah. it's into its third season now and they I don't keep repeating shows that don't work. Yeah, I think it's quite relatable, um, you know, because I have young children myself, so I am a school mum, and I do have a lot of women like me coming up and sort of they have a, you can have a laugh of it at it because it is your life, yeah. you know, um, so it's quite relatable, I guess. So how do, you d how do you tackle a job or a role like this? So I ask you about Shorty Street. This role, Mean Mums, it's into its third season. Does it have a fourth season? Do you care if it have, have, has? Do you think about it having a fourth season? Do you think about it having a fifth season, or is it just <laughs> a job for now and it is what it is? Uh, it's a job for now and it is what it is. I think if I spend too much time wondering what I'm, if I'm ever going to work again, then <laughs> I would go deeply into some kind of, kind of depths of despair, which I don't have time for. Um, and so I just take it as it comes, I guess. Yeah. And grateful for it. Yeah. I, th there is a living then, I take it, to be made out of acting in New Zealand if you want to, if mm. you're versatile, if you can do some stage and some comedy and some film and Netflix, I the whole so. thing. I've ma I mean, I've managed to do it. <laughs> eight, <laughs> and then the universe struck me down and I never <laughs> worked again. Because <laughs> eight, 800 Words was another great show, yeah, wasn't it? That was a lovely show. That, was, that, that mm. seemed to be a success as well. Yes. Am I right in saying that? Australian and Australian. It, it had an Australian connection yeah. as well. In fact, all over the world it's quite popular. I guess because it's such a beautiful sort of showcase of New Zealand that it's done really well internationally. So what I'm trying to work out here is, is our role internationally of increasing importance if the Netflixes come here and they can put us out to the world and therefore we become a location mm. uh, that the world wants to look at because mm. it's good and we work well because we're good at being hired and doing our job. Mm. Plus at the same time we can employ a whole lot of local people mm -hmm. and then get a cross-production or a co-production. In other words, it makes it easier to make more material. Yes. This is a map good, for the future, isn't it? Thing. Well, it's definitely happening. I mean, all our studios are full at the moment. In fact, new studios are being built. So. Growth long industry. May that, yeah, long may that continue. Growth yeah. industry. Um, the play we need to talk about. Yes. Are you Melania Trump or are you just a person who could be Melania Trump? Well, I am the Eastern European um, wife of the right wing American president. So I am strongly <coughs> based on Melania, but I'm not exactly Melania. I, I think from the, from the sort of opening, you think I am quite Melania ish, uh, but I definitely have more depth to my character. Well, although it's hard to know about any of Melania's debts, really, isn't it? It's so well, I've no clue about Melania's One of the questions debts. I was just going to ask. <laughs> internationally written, isn't it? It is. Um, yes, she's an Irish playwright. In fact, we Skyped her the other morning. She's a nice lady. But she's locked in her house, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, with lockdown over there. So you're a Melania Trump. Yes. And Jennifer is a Brigitte, Brigitte. Mac Mac Macron. Yeah. How are you doing the accent? I am working from Croatia, and so, uh, so I'm not exactly from the same region as Melania. Right. I'm, my cr character, Sophia, is Croatian. East, well, East, Eastern, Eastern so European. Because yeah. um, <laughs> you raised such an interesting point before the break, but we don't know anything about Melania. No. Seriously, do no, we? No, I mean, we you don't. want to know, you think you know, but we don't. We don't, So, no. so, So what's the... <laughs> based on in terms of where does she come from what does she say how does she think yeah you actually find so i definitely sort of researched little videos of melania and watched those but uh, again they're not going to give apart from kind of quite sort of character <laughs> she holds her hands in little fists and does really <laughs> strange things with her face that she can't give you that much so then i had to leave her alone really let her go and just concentrate on sophia who has actually a lot to give because she really then you find out is the victim of, well, not the victim. She, her life has taken a path because her husband has become the president of the United States of America. So, her freedom, so many freedoms have been taken away from her mm. because of that journey that her husband <coughs> has taken, that she has sort of ended up um, on. So, I actually have quite a lot of sympathy for my character, which <laughs> I guess is part of the process. Funny. It is funny, yeah. It, it is funny, actually. It's, um, yeah, it's sort of politically charged and intellectual um, and funny. The right, in talking to the writer, mm. d do they allow you to <coughs> bring to it whatever you want to, or do they say, now, what I envisage here is this? Uh, no, they, 
I think she seemed quite pleased that we, s when she spoke to us as a company, that we were kind of on the same page as her and we mm. had picked up lots of the things that she had sort of put down. But I guess she has to hand over a baby, really, yeah. to an extent and trust. It, it, it seems to me it's got the potential to be an international hit, doesn't yeah, it? I, mean, I it think so. It's quite sort of a universal topic. You know, when we... Um, I think when we did the marketing campaign, the elections were on. So Jennifer <laughs> was on Red and Blues, and it was all Red and Blues on TV everywhere, yeah. you know. And then the other day at rehearsals, of course, the, the Capitol was... Um, you know. Exactly. Yeah, so... Are you dressed nicely? Oh, given very it, nicely. G given it's Melania? Yes, although... Um, yes, although the, the stylist is always saying that Melania doesn't have any kind of style... Um, you, you know, she's not like a style icon. She's just, apparently she changes yeah. the, the fashions. But Brigitte very much so. is. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Well, and you're on tour, which you've never been on before. No, I haven't. Isn't, isn't that yeah, exciting to be able to fun. go on tour? Yeah. There's a van. <coughs> one of us is driving it, not me. It's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good luck with it. We'll give all the dates and times and stuff, but I hope it goes extremely well for you. What do you got for the rest of the year? <coughs> apart, from your, um, apart from your movie, your sweet tooth. Uh, no, yeah, well, that I did That'll last year. Out. I'm, I've got another series of Mean Mums yep. mid-year, and um, and I've got two little boys, so they'll probably be. You're busy. Busy. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good <laughs> luck. Lovely to see. Good you. To